Hey Sagittarius, this is going to be your monthly reading for December. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general reading, you guys, so if it doesn't resonate, <clears throat> then I advise you to go ahead and check your Moon and Rising signs, as well as your Venus and your Jupiter. If it still doesn't resonate, then you guys are more than welcome to um, get a personal reading for me, from me. Um, and you can go to pinkarianjim.com for that, okay? All right, you guys, let's see. What is going on with Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Come on, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All right. Ooh, four of wands. Out the bat. Five of wands. Seven of Wands. Ooh. Page of Swords. Three of Cups. Star. Queen of Wands. Queen of Cups. Huh. Interesting. Okay. You know, okay, the, the first thing I get, and this is not, I, I see, I see two different stories here in the past. So we're just going to go with it. The, the very first thing that, that I notice is, that um, some of you are really wanting to be involved with someone in particular, and but I but I get the strong, like I get the strong feeling that you're already involved with somebody, and. It's serving you up a good bit of conflict here within yourself. In the, the, the current connection or what was a current connection here in the past, I feel like there, there were lots of times where you just felt like you were being challenged. And I, I get the impression that you don't like to be challenged. Um, but I'm not sure what kind of challenges uh, challenges were presenting themselves, you know. Um, but I get that strong feeling that that um, in that relationship that you were involved in, that you were being challenged and you were conflicted about whether or not to get out of it, because. You have your eye on somebody else. And these energies can go vice versa, guys. Um, but I feel like Sagittarius that this is you for some reason. Okay. That is what's going on in the past. Let's see what else is with this four of wands up here. We have the Five of Cups, the Knight of Coins. In particular, the relationship that you were involved with. It brought you, leaving that relationship was like bittersweet. I feel like you had a lot of regrets around it. We have Scorpio energy here too. So I feel like, you know, you're probably a cusper um, on the cusp of Scorpio and Sagittarius. <clears throat> and um, 
I feel like you had an obligation. You felt an obligation to this person to like be there for them. And it's probably like because you guys have been together for a while, you know, five or six years. Five to seven years. Um, so you felt a sense of responsibility as you should, you know, when you when you're with somebody for that long, then um, you know, there is a sense of obligation. But I feel like you were fighting with yourself over staying in that commitment or that marriage, and you know, it was just really bothering you. Um, and it's certain things that you cannot get over, you know, you can't it was like you couldn't allow yourself to let go of, you know, maybe the relationship was over, even though you were still there at some point, maybe it was over. Um, excuse me, but I felt like, you know, you were holding on to not only letting the relationship go, but like there was a certain air of um, of a stubborn quality here with the emperor, with the four of coins. That is um, somebody that's very, very closed off. Very closed off, very stern, you know, holding fast to their beliefs and, you know, not budging. Not budging. Um, clarifying the seven of wands. We have the Ace of Wands here with the Justice card. I think that the Seven of Wands with the Ace of Wands is Eight of Wands. That's you again. Um, I think you you're very you became very passionate about you know how you communicated what you thought was right you know um but i'm not sure if it was here with justice being present because it almost feels like there's a need to make things right there was a need to fix something here in the past there was a strong need to fix something in the past um and you wanted to it was like you were trying to start something with somebody else and I kind of felt like it was there was this online scenario here. There was this online scenario here with this king of cup, I mean king of swords. I feel like this person was total is totally different because this is this is in the present right now. This person is totally different. This earth air energy, totally different. I feel very very smart person, um, and you're a little you're a little intrigued and confused by them. Actually, it feels like I feel like you know they're not very emotional. Um, at least not overly emotional where, you know, it seems like they have their stuff all together with the King of Swords and the Nine of Coins, Virgo energy, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. They seem to have their stuff together. And I feel like you really want to join with this person. And I feel like she's fighting you. <laughs> I feel like she is fighting you. Like... She's got her back turned to you. And I, and I don't think she's fighting you because she does not like you. But I think she's fighting you because she's been hurt or he's been hurt before. And in the back of their mind is also another person. Cancer energy.
I think they've been hurt before because we have lots of sores where this person is concerned. And I feel like a lot of thinking um, has gone, you know, has this person has been involved with. Um, so it's something that, you know, th they're shielding themselves from actually here. And I feel like, you know, this person is like your wish, though. Like, you feel like you guys are destined. And you just don't know what to do here with the two of coins. And the hanging man is like you're stuck. And I don't think it has anything to do with the person that um, you were really committed to before. That you were possibly married to. I think it has everything to do with how this current person is is feeling is reacting towards you that's you know you still feel like this person is the one but i think the task at hand is how do you get this person to see that we have pisces we have capricorn energy <clears throat> excuse me guys um, we have Libra, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I think I said that already. Okay. So that is, that's like really bothering you. Okay. Cause you see this person, you see this person as the queen of wands. But I... You see this person as a queen of wands. You see a very, or him, very attractive, very fiery in spirit. Um, and they probably are. You're very attracted to them with the queen of wands being here. And you're hoping, you're hoping for them you're hoping for them, but it's like, you know, you're, you're filled with all of these thoughts of, you know, what if this person does not, you know, accept me or, you know, start feeling the same way that I feel about them. And so in that, you almost start rethinking, you start rethinking whether or not, you know, you really want to be with this person because this person is not giving you what what you want from them and so you almost kind of revert back to the person that you were with before and i'm not saying physically revert back but it's like you it's like if, if this person won't love me this one will that kind of thing because i see you here with the queen of cups now either this is the person that you were dealing with first or this is the person that you're interested in and you see them like fiery um loving intuitive mature you know knows how to handle themselves here but i i feel like you know you're kind of going back and forth like if this person does not um does not you know, feel the same way about me, then, you know, I may have to do something else. Okay, so this is a little bit different, okay? Now, if this is the person that you're interested in, then this is this person transitioning into sharing the same feelings with you coming to the realization that you guys the realization that you guys are kindred spirits and possibly meant to be together this is pop this is a possible soulmate for you this is a possible soulmate for you very possible then we have the devil card Closing it out, Capricorn Energy, King of Coins, and the Tower card. Whew. Now, 
you know, even though even though the devil and the tower is here, with the devil being here initially, okay, without the clarifiers, the devil card for me in this instant is very passionate energy. Like you guys will be all wrapped up in each other. Now, I'm not sure if that's a good thing, but that's how I'm seeing this. Like it's a, it's a passion that you guys share here in the future, being clarified by the King of Cups, which I feel like is you. I feel like that's you. Okay, and I'm just looking because with the tower card, it's like, even you the person that you're dealing with, because what I see here is passion and energy, okay? Somebody realizing that, you know, this is it for me and wanting to take care of the other person. And this is gonna be something that actually shakes you to the core. And I get the feeling here that it's, it's something of, Something like a feeling that shakes you to your core like you didn't expect it. You didn't expect, you know, how much in love you would be with this person. You didn't expect how much in love they would be with you. But I don't see this as like this horrible thing. It's just something that's really going to shake up your beliefs. Like you didn't really feel like you could be with one person forever. It's going to be something that is going to be life changing for you in the near future. Okay, so Sagittarius, that is what I have for you guys for the month of December and I will be speaking with you soon.